Back on the course and back behind the wheel. Drivers say it just feels good to be back. You get to see a lot of the drivers you don't see every day, uh, and it's the competition. Just the whole competition is good. Even though COVID forced a delay to JTA's beloved rodeo. We've been out of it for the last two years, so everybody's a little bit rusty. Drivers were more than ready to return. First, to a friendly rivalry. Well, there's a lot of smack talk between Ramon and I at rodeo time, and uh, Ramon started smack talking, and, and so I said, well, I'm going to have to get in it. Also, to a little bit of healthy competition. We're very competitive, both of us, but it's a good competitive uh, vibe going on. And to a chance to shine and show the world what they excel at on a daily basis. I'm highly impressed with the skill set of both our operators and our maintenance team. Uh, this is a great opportunity for them to show off uh, what they do every day. So let's begin with the friendly rivalry between powerhouse drivers Ramon Farfan and Dennis Collins. For the last decade, Farfan has won the top spot in the rodeo, and he's also earned four state championships and one international title. But before Farfan earned those victories, the man to beat was Dennis Collins, a more seasoned driver who won nine consecutive years before Farfan began his streak. Collins was also runner-up at the state rodeo championships several times and placed third at the international competition. In spite of their rivalry, Collins will tell you Farfan has always been a good student. Ramon and I are good friends, and, and when R Ramon took interest to the rodeo, I helped him out a lot in showing him all the different things that needs to be done and, and how you drive the course. And Farfan will tell you that Collins is an inspiration and that the two always learn from each other. We help each other, we practice out here together. If he does something wrong, I'm outside watching and I help him. And the same thing, you know, when I'm on the, on the seat, he goes out there and he helps me. But in the end, competition is competition. And this year, Collins was the first driver on the course with Farfan next in line and watching closely. When he completed his run, Collins was satisfied with his effort, but he knew he had left some points on the course. How you feel, Dennis? I'm good. I messed up, but I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll get it. With Farfan and nine other drivers to go, it was still anyone's competition to win. JTA CEO Nat Ford said the rodeo not only brings everyone together, but it also showcases the immense talent and expertise the authority has on its team. What our operators encounter, our maintenance personnel, and this is really just showing how skilled they are. As I mentioned, we've got a 10-time world champ in the seat, Mr. Ramon. It was now the defending champion's turn behind the wheel. With a steady run, Ramon Farfan did not disappoint. But was it enough to keep his title, or would Collins or one of the other newer drivers show out and outduel the king? Of course, Farfan and Collins aren't the only drivers participating in the rodeo, and they know it isn't just about them showing off their skills. But they say this is also a chance for newer drivers to learn, grow, and get better at what they do every single day. It is good to have new drivers always come in and compete because they have to start learning now. You know, because in 10, 15 years, once we're gone, somebody else has to do it. And if they can start learning from us, from people like Dennis and myself and Steve, you know, that's going to help them when it's their turn to be in our shoes. And for those who are willing to learn, Colin says there's only room to go up. And then the newer drivers, we want we want competition, but the ones that do want to practice, we show them, you know, we take them, they say, this obstacle can't be done, and we'll show them, yeah, it can be done. Whether the drivers are seasoned like Farfan and Collins, or they're newer and less experienced, it seems they can all agree that tackling the rodeo requires a lot of skill. Well, you do have to practice it. We spend a lot of time practicing, you know, when we on our off time, and we um, use that on the street as well. And even with lots of practice under their belts, they'll admit some of the maneuvers presented in the rodeo aren't always so easy. It's a precision driving course, so everything's very, very tight and very close. So you have to spend a lot of time using your mirrors. Right turn and left turn, both of them we had a very hard time on the practice uh, runs that we did and the days we were practicing. But they were doable. It's just a, kind of hard. But when it's all said and done, these drivers say it is all well worth it.
because no matter how tough the event and no matter who gets first or second place, the rodeo is a competition like none other, giving JTA drivers a chance to improve, excel, and most importantly, have fun. It helps out all the new drivers that are coming on that have never done it. It helps them get better at, at what we do every day. Helps develop good driving skills on the uh, course or on the road. It works both ways. After all 11 drivers had done their best and left the track, it was time to announce the winners. Second year driver, Abdelatif Akadar, like Ramon Farfan, had done 20 years earlier, won Rookie of the Year. In third place, Steve Pumarejo. The tension was building as it looked like another typical Collins-Farfan battle. Was this the year Dennis Collins regained his title as rodeo champion? Or would Ramon Farfan remain the man? The first place bus operator winner is Ramon Farfan. Congratulations to Ramon Farfan, who won for the 11th time the Jacksonville Rodeo Championship title. In La Villa, Vicky Pierre, JTA Making Moves. When Making Moves continues,